that's the uh, hole we're going to go in. And this lid's just about to go through and into the uh, wreck itself. divers going in there before us and they've uh, kicked the vis up a little bit so it's a bit silty as we work our way uh, through. That clears up as we get further inside the wreck. The wreck's been fairly well cleared out and opened up so divers can uh, run through it safely. However, it does tighten off. And the fact that it's actually at a 45 degree angle is a little bit disorientating as well. But basically inside it's pretty, pretty safe. A few tight squeezes, but uh, it is pretty safe. This is spotted where the silver sides are coming into the uh, vessel and uh, they're heading in and then turning right through that door. I'm just looking around to see where I can get into that uh, chamber from and uh, that should be coming out just about now with that flashing light is. This is a bit of a tight squeeze and uh, you can see just alongside uh, the cylinders, I think they were compressed air cylinders for an operation on the boat for the, uh, it was a, a submarine rescue vessel, I think they were compressed air for, uh, for that. Uh, but you can see all the silver sides just above that, so I squeeze through and, uh, well eventually I do, and uh, make my way just up to the uh, open chamber there to the silver sides.
there's an old stairway running up a little bit higher and we're in the chamber now of the silver sides and it's just millions upon millions of them. Just incredible in that. It's, you lose any uh, any sense of where you are. I stood there, I, I hovered there for a little while just thinking, my God, <laughs> where's the uh, exit from here? It was just, everything was just covered. And you can see uh, various exit points if you did have to get out. The rest of the guys are making their uh, way in here now. Liz has found a way in and uh, she has a look underneath this shell. She disappears underneath as a balloon and takes some uh, footage on her GoPro from the underneath side. Sorry about that uh, lanyard coming across the shot. Um, sorted that now and made it a bit shorter so that shouldn't happen again. Just on the uh, outside of the wreck now, and looking at some of the uh, winches which uh, are set on deck quite big, they're about four or five feet uh, in diameter. in trouble before it certainly is now. I know, you want your photo taken. G 
just before we uh, start to surface, we're just making our way a little bit higher on the uh, superstructure. That's uh, a cable hanging down there, which has been encrusted with uh, anemones. 